what's up everyone so I just recorded a video and then ended the video and saying that it was on time-lapse so let's do this again how are y'all doing today I wanted to come on here real quick and say thank y'all to all the people that sub the channel uh, and the, the ones that comment uh, I really appreciate that I like interacting with y'all through the comments uh, that was one thing when I started the channel a little backstory to the channel I started the channel for my family that my kids uh, my son in particular loves watching my channel uh, and y'all see him on a few videos too but they were kind of the reason I started the channel so they could see what I did through the videos uh, and then it you know it kind of took off and that pushed me to to make more content try to push content out I try to push it out every day or every other day uh, sometimes it might take a couple days because of how busy I get sometimes but again I just wanted to come on here and say thank you to everyone that's sub the channel and that comments that watches the videos it, it really means a lot and I really appreciate it and I also wanted to give a couple shout outs I wanted to give a shout out to trucker style Sean he's kind of been with me since the beginning uh, we connected right after I started the channel and he's seen I was driving a single axle FLD, FLD like he was uh, and now we, we talk all the time but really good friend of mine really good dude uh, I appreciate everything you've helped me with over the past year also a shout out to Kyle at Nevada Trucking and Trails he's helped me out several times he's, he's a super super good dude uh, and also none other than trucking together Alice thank you for the shout out this morning y'all pushed me well over the thousand sub mark so uh, it's a big accomplishment in my book that was like my goal wanted to hit that thousand for the year or before the year's end so I appreciate it uh, and tell Martin I said thank you too because I'm sure he was had a hand in it also if not I'm sorry don't tell him thank you just you thank you <laughs> but no thank y'all I really do appreciate it and uh, another one is Shane at uh, Bees Knees Trucking he's uh, he had a channel in the past he shut it down he started another channel here recently uh, he's a good friend of mine too and I think he's going to be an up-and-coming channel uh, that puts out some pretty good content with who he's working with so if y'all don't watch any of their channels you know give them a look see if y'all like them a uh, bunch of good channels trucker style Sean Kyle at Nevada trucking the trails Alice Martin at uh, Trucking Together. Thank y'all again. And Shane at Bees Knees Trucking. So, thank y'all. I'm going to get off here, call it a night. We'll holler at y'all later. Let's get to the video. <laughs>
to keep it from rolling back uh, and of course you got to make sure you put something up underneath it they have a bunch of carpet here that you can use but I got a bunch of these little rubber pieces so yeah that's about it and then I put this one here that I kind of keep 
this boat from rolling forward. We're uh, we're fixing to get on the road and head to Hanover, Maryland. We had a good load to get us out of there. It was paying like 560 a mile, but I wasn't 100 percent sure if I was going to be able to make it on time. So. Yeah, we had to we had to turn it down. If I would have been able if I was gonna be a straight up outlaw, hold on just a second. If I was gonna be a straight up outlaw, I could have done it. And just drove straight through the night, but I'm not taking that risk. So, yep, we turned that one down. Uh, we'll probably look for a Friday, being that they didn't get me loaded till, oh, what time is it now? I got here at like 7.15 this morning. They had, uh, I think, four trucks ahead of me. So, yeah, it took a little, a little while to get loaded, so now it's 11.30. If I would've got loaded and out of here by, say, 8.30, we could have took that load. Uh, I could have, I could have unloaded like mid morning and been able to make the cutoff, but oh well. So there's there's something else out there. May not pay as good, but.
had to make a uh, special stop for my baby. Stopped here at the, uh, what is this, 118 in Phillipsburg, Missouri, off of 44, the candy factory. Got her a whole bag. So, she ought to be good for a while. She, uh, she likes, she likes Laffy Taffy's. So, uh, yeah, I got her like five pounds of Laffy Taffy. All different assortment. And then I put like two special Laffy Taffy's. Not gonna say what they are. Well, she never watches my channel. So, one is like a super sour, which she'll probably like because she likes sour candy. And then the other one is like a, uh, what do they call it? A ghost? The ghost taffy or something? It's like the ghost pepper in it. So, I love you, babe. Have fun with that one. Which, five pounds of Laffy Taffy will probably last her a while. <laughs> I don't even know. Because she'll eat, like, when I bring them home, she'll eat, like, four or five of the little Laffy Taffy's every, uh, every evening before she goes to bed so yeah there's there's one special ghost taffy in it. and uh, it's pink just like the strawberry and cherry so yeah, whenever she gets it she's gonna know <laughs> oh we're gonna get on down the road and uh, make some more time see you on a little bit So I don't really know what's on Cause I'm a 
video or in, in other clips that uh, we're delivering to Bass Pro Shop. They had a four o'clock like cut off, right? And uh, so I had old girl rolling. And when I say rolling, I'm talking about like 72, 73. That's clapped out for this truck <laughs> for now. But uh, I generally don't speed. If I do, it's maybe a, an, an hour or two, uh, a, mile, a mile per hour or two more than what the speed limit is generally i'm always under the speed limit well under the speed limit but this one i was wanting to get it off because i got a port pickup uh in the morning and i want to be there first thing in the morning for some other reasons that i'll discuss on the next video but i uh i got pulled over so in maryland they have that spot uh, where it's a six mile, 45 mile an hour truck speed limit. I was doing it. I thought, and it was completely my fault. I seen the state trooper was behind me the whole time. Well, for about a mile or so while I was doing the speed limit. I thought I'd come out of that 45 mile an hour zone. So I started speeding up, going up the hill. And he flipped the lights on, pulled me over, walked up, said, let me see your driver's license and your uh, cab car, please. So I handed it to him. He said, uh, I got you for 61 and a 45. And I was like, oh, okay, my bad. I thought, I thought it had ended, but clearly I was in the wrong. So he's like, all right, just hold off just a second. I'll be right back. Walked back to his car, come back. Uh, it took him maybe two minutes. He walked back up to the side of the truck and he said, here you go. Here's a warning. Uh, no points, nothing on your record. Just slow it down. I was like, yes, sir. Completely understand. Have a nice day. I appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, that was it. So, but yeah, we made it. Uh, I called them. They're sending someone back. So we'll be able to get them off today. And uh, then I got to find a truck stop because I'm sitting on a quarter tank. And I've done, I, I did about 1,100 miles, so that's going to mean my uh, my gas, uh, the diesel mileage, my fuel mileage has uh, dropped way down. So, But anyway, uh, we're going to wait on these guys. They said they'd be back here in just a minute, and then uh, go ahead and start getting, I don't want to take all the straps off yet. I'm find back here in just a minute in your Apple Music Library. You can ask me to play a radio station. I don't want anything, Siri. Leave me alone. Uh, I don't want to take straps off yet until they get back here and say, yeah, we're going to take them off. Uh, and then I'll pop the straps off. Shouldn't take too long to unload. And then uh, we're going to go to the TA. Fuel prices over here. 408 a gallon. What? I seen that. And I was like, oh, that's TSD. Uh, the cheapest I seen on Mudflap was like 425. And I haven't checked uh, F2 fuel yet, but yeah, I'll probably be filling up at, at the TA for 408 a gallon. I can't believe it. It's a shame that when I see 408, I'm like, you know, excited, right? That's uh that's bad. That's that's the mindset they put you in though. They drive the prices up, you're like, mmm. Then when they start bringing them back down, you, you're all excited, even though they're still high as all get out. But anyway, we'll holler at y'all here in just a second after we get unloaded and uh, yeah, holler at y'all later.
we're done with this load. Another one in the books. Turned out to be a good week. 13.4. Uh, so, not bad. Got a good, decent load tomorrow that'll start me off for next week that I'm picking up. So, yeah, I just want to say, out of breath lugging them tarps. As James Best would say, if you want to watch his channel, the other trucker James Best, he does some lives. He's uh, pretty... I, I like watching uh, I like watching most of his content. Sometimes they can get off on a tangent that I really don't care about. But anyway, as he would say, them tarps, they ain't it. It ain't it. Tarps ain't it, period. Anyway, we're going to find a uh, truck stop, get us some fuel, and... Uh, I say take an early day. Anyway, the battery died on me again. I am getting really fed up with these GoPro, this GoPro. But uh, y'all have a good day. Be safe. Stay blessed. See y'all in the next one.